Hello and welcome to DevBite. My name is Jan Felix Schmarket and I'm from the Android Developer Relations team. In this episode, we are looking at the hierarchy viewer and how you can use that tool to uh, help you optimize your layouts and views in your application. Um, we are going to be using the Bacon Reader um, sample application again that you've seen in one of the other DevBytes before. Let's have a look at our hierarchy viewer again because I noticed there's something strange going on in one of our layouts. So we have our um, main article view where we have some text we have a title and we have a background picture and then we have our main body of text here. So this is happening here in the top, in the top of the um, view. Um, and our um, hierarchy looks very, very complicated. We have a relative layout and then we have a frame layout and then we have our image view and then we have some text views down here. So we can definitely simplify that and each of these steps in our layout adds extra um, uh, time that's needed to measure and draw everything to the screen. So if you go to our um, layout here, so this is where we are defining um, what the uh, image and what the title looks like. So this is very, very confusing. We have a relative layout here, frame layout, linear layout. Um, let's simplify this. Um, so the way this is structured is that we have um, an image view that has our main, the big picture we have in the background. And then we have um, this, this, this gradient on top of that. And then we have our uh, title and then we have a smaller subtitle as well as subheading. Um, Let's simplify this a lot. What we can do is we can simply have the image view, you know, the big picture, and then we can just use one simple view on top. We can use a text view on top. And in the text view, we can specify the background as the gradient that we have. And then we can set the, the, um, the gravity of our text view to bottom, which means, uh, which means that the uh, text that we, that we put inside the title is drawn at the bottom of the, bottom of the uh, image. This is all we have done here. So we can replace all of this, the relative layout, we lay everything out, with this simple frame layout where we have an image view and we have a text view on top and the text view contains the background and the entire text. But you, you're saying, look, um, we, this title, uh, this headline actually contains two different or three different types of text styles. We have our main headline and there's some smaller text down below. Um, to do that, you have to use text appearance spanables. And um, we have one simple text view, but you can, you can, style, the, uh, you can style different parts of your text view differently. So here we have these text appearance span objects and we're loading each of them in with a different um, text appearance style that we have defined in XML. That's a normal, just a normal style. We're loading these in and um, then when we set up um, the, the views and we, we set the title, this is where we are saying, where we're loading in, um, this is where we are loading the, uh, the text. Uh, here, so we are using a spanable string to do, to, to do this. And a spanable string allows you to set a text and then you can, aspire, then, then you can apply different spanables for parts of the text. So in our case here, the first thing we do is we compile our text we want to display, including the new line characters. Um, and then we apply each of the different text appearances to a part of this, to a part of this, of the string. So in this case here, we have the title appearance, we have the by text underneath that and then we have the author appearance as well. And we basically just specify the start and end characters, the normal character count. So once we've done that, we basically set the, um, set the uh, spendable string to our, um, to our text view using the spendable buffer type so it gets applied properly. We keep our set movements method and we can um, remove our, um, we can remove our old um, way of uh, setting the title. And if you start our application again, you will see that it basically looks exactly the same, but we have much, much fewer views than what we had before. Simply by using, a, by using text appearance spanables and combining them together into one single text view. Um, so let's see what it looks like here. And as you can see, it looks basically identical to what we had before, but our layout hierarchy is much, much simpler. So I really hope you're going to try out hierarchy view on your own application and see what it looks like and how you can optimize your application to make it perform much, much better.